The suicide that has shocked Rutgers University in New Jersey. This morning, officials there believe, officials, excuse me, believe they found the body of an 18-year-old freshman who jumped off the George Washington Bridge after his roommate videotaped him being intimate with another man and put it on the Internet. CBS News national correspondent Jeff Glor is at the Rutgers campus this morning. Good morning, Jeff. Hey, Maggie, good morning to you. Details of this case emerged actually on the same day. The university kicked off a civility campaign trying to encourage kids to behave the right way with special focus on technology. Now, one student, as you mentioned, is gone, and two others are facing serious charges. Rutgers University freshman Tyler Clemente, an accomplished violin player, just 18 years old, killed himself after police say his roommate put up online a live recording of him having a sexual encounter with another man. Last night, students on campus mourn his loss. I heard about it just tonight, and it just shocked me. The tragedy can now apparently be traced back to online postings. On the night of September 19th, roommate Darun Ravi and his friend Molly Way streamed the video, then Ravi tweeted, roommate asked for the room till midnight. I went into Molly's room and turned on my webcam. I saw him making out with a dude. Yay. A message that appears to be from Clementi was sent out on a gay community message board two days later. He saw me making out with a guy and later added, the school probably won't do much of anything. In his last message on Facebook, Clemente posted a suicide note, jumping off the GW bridge, sorry. His driver's license and college ID were later found on the bridge, and Wednesday, a body was pulled from the Hudson River. Ravi and Wei have been charged with invasion of privacy for spying on Clemente and could get five years in prison. I hope that uh, justice is found, so. Clemente's death has now been called a hate crime by a New Jersey gay rights group, and they say part of a widespread problem. Nearly nine out of ten gay, lesbian, and bisexual students are bullied in school, according to one gay rights group, and they're four times more likely than straight kids to attempt suicide. David Savage is a gay rights activist. What gay and lesbian kids most fear is rejection by their family, rejection at the hands of their friends, uh, judgment from their preachers and their teachers. On a Facebook memorial, more than 3,000 messages to Clemente and his family have poured in. May God bless you. You didn't deserve this. Rest in peace. A Clemente family lawyer has released a statement saying Tyler was a fine young man and a distinguished musician. The family is heartbroken beyond words. Maggie? As is everyone. Jeff Glor in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Thank you, Jeff.